Hello people to the F4 race. I'm sorry I'm, I'm a bit late. I was downstairs still. I didn't watch anything of this. But as we have Melvin at pole position right now. And we're gonna do a 35% race because we have less than 13 drivers. Actually we have 12 drivers. With... I believe it's uh, four drivers even of the F5. Otherwise they would have driven with only eight. As we have Skull going fastest lap now. Mark is in the pit. Sets in 27.8. As Ringswood retired, as with THC with a fastest sector 2. It's going out of the last corner, and he will be. P2 with a 27.8 as well. Just four hundredths of a second behind. Don't know. How much rice is improving right now? Because he is going in the pits with Sucho invalidating his lap. Melvin is going now in a lap. So she now goes to the second chicane. And drives over in the gravel. As he can't improve now. Sutro is now going in a lap. So if he can set his first lap. It's a 27.9 as in the first sector. It goes over to the fast left handers. You can't take them fast in the rain anymore. You should break there a lot. Then over to the last chicane. It's, it's gonna be quite tricky. Now over to the last two corners. Easy to invalidate on this last corner on the outside. But he isn't. As he sets and 28.2 going 5th fastest. That's really good for an F5 driver. It's 
since we have Melvin improving with almost a tenth in sector one. Can he find more time for this right hander? As he invalidates. As Ninja didn't invalidate there. Ninja still didn't invalidate there. On that last chicane. And he's going to the last two corners. Taking that one really bad and then the last corner as he even goes into the pit so we now have Joe on the flying lap spins a little but manages to keep it on track Second chicane as he sets in 28.2, improving with 6 tenths to his time, but a 28.2 isn't a good first sector. Now the fast right handers. Are really tricky with this weather condition. Now over to the last chicane. He improves with another seven tenths and sets fast to sector two, as he almost invalidated on the exit of that last chicane. Going into the last corner, it was a decent lead, but almost invalidated. Now here almost again, he just didn't get a lot of time and goes in the, to the pits to get a last lap. As we have Skull in the lap. As DHC said at 27.3. As Skull is now improving with 4 tenths, he needs to find at least 1 tenth still in this last sector. I don't think he will be faster than THC. Indeed, he just improves with two tenths. So Lucas is now going in a flying lap. Also, Mark behind him. With Nico Hilton having a collision with the Mercedes. Getting a 5 place grid penalty. Skull sets the fastest sector 1. As THG is now not improving. Skull is improving with 2 tenths. He can get it here if he manages to find one tenth is he going to get pole position here He sets in 27-0. As THC is now also going in the left. As Melvin is improving with 6 tenths now. But 
is Professional P2 if he manages to keep this game. But I think he is just going to s going for another lap maybe. He did improve only with 4 tenths. Ninja goes 28, 1, 5 tenths improvement. With Joe in a lap. A skill wasn't set in a fast time, so is THC. THC might do it in the last second. Ninja retires on track. We have no one behind him. He didn't finish, he did retire on track. This girl is in the pits. Here she managed to improve but not with a big margin. As the both of the Mercedes aren't improving, Skull is getting pole position. I don't see one of the F5 drivers getting it. As Mark is really slow now and Sutro getting getting held up. Maybe even. Sutro isn't improving, he is getting held up by Joe. As Joe is improving, but not with a big margin. Not gaining any position from it. Was improving with 6 tenths, but that's still a really slow lap in this wet condition. As we now have Skull on pole. As we have the lights off and we'll be racing, it's going to be dry, 22 laps, it's a 35% race. As we have THG and Lucas getting past him from P4. Into turn 1, do we have any collision? We have an Aston Martin going white. That's Rings Root going white. As there is already a quite 
gap forming between THE and Ninja. As Efron should be going soft medium or medium soft as Joe is. Just battle with Cavalry here. He goes around the outside there. As Cavalry sends it in the inside again. Joe meant to stay on the outside. Cavalry gets pushed a bit wide. As we have a three way fight to turn one as Mark pushes Melvin off the track and Mark also crashes. And Joe gaining a lot of positions here. Mark also on the mediums. So is Melvin. So we have five people starting on the mediums. So, so if Rice can stay within the one second, when the DRS opens, he will gain a lot of positions because of this. Will sets the fastest lap. Now there's THC. THC outside of the one second gap. So we now have M Melvin not able to send it. They're all far away. The only per people that are close are Skull and Lucas already getting track limit penalty in lap 3. As Sutro crashed somehow. Is Lucas is gonna overtake him with the DRS? See, it's eight, nine tenths behind. I don't think he can send it here. As THC still gets the rest, but he's used all his battery already. So Ninja is staying in P4 within the DRS range of THC, while THC is outside of the DRS range without battery. Ninja has not that much battery, but Enough to be able to overtake the HE. As something happened, Nico Hiltonen crashed somewhere as the HE was going really wide. Ninja left enough space. Clear past this is, this ninja. This Lucas was going wide there. So we have Melvin now close behind Joe and Mark close behind them. The DRS is enabled and the ERS. Is he going to be able to overtake him here? And he's 
gonna be clean pass and able to stay on the racing line and ahead. Show having more battery, maybe able to see him flashing also right now. So he knows he has less than 15% battery. He can maybe go for an overtake, but he's already outside of the second. As Mark has the same amount of battery as Joe and is behind him. As we have uh, Rafael with a 2 second time penalty. He's in P5. Going a bit wide, it didn't get a track limit, I believe. This mark is going to be six tenths, even five tenths behind Joe. Joe is using his ERS a lot, and Mark just stays behind. Almost rear-ended him, but luckily he didn't. As we still have Mark close behind and THC and Ninja both have the same amount of battery, but THC will get the DRS. As we have Melvin now close behind the rise, is he going to send it through the chicane? He will stay behind. Maybe on the exit he will take him. Yes, he will. But I don't know why Rice isn't battling this one with all of his battery. But Melvin did use all of his battery, and still Rice is in front of him. As Melvin is using a lot of his battery, but he will get past. As Rafael is still at 60%. As Melvin gone white and he's maybe even gonna be overtaken by Joe also. But Joe is stuck behind. Don't know if Melvin got pushed white a lot there, but. He did go wide off the track and loses a lot of time with that. So we have Mark close behind Joe. Mark lost a lot of time through that chicane and he's still good behind but not enough to overtake with the DRS train going on. As Joe actually didn't get DRS, oh wait, Melvin didn't. We didn't have any overtake there. Mark on more battery, Joe on no battery, Melvin on no battery, Rice P5 going wide. He has 60% battery as Joe crashed there with Melvin. As Melvin did get a penalty for, for the crash. Don't know what happened there. Melvin might have a front wing damage, don't see anything right now. But maybe he has. As they collided somehow. 
so uh, Melvin he spawned and Joe got into his side. That's what happened as they now all will be pitting. The, for the soft runners this is really good on time because they now can drive it to the end with those new mediums as people of on the mediums won't be that lucky with this pit stop so now go onto the softs but it's gonna be hard to drive like 10 laps on those like 10 to 12 reps fully driving on them as Ringfoot is actually staying out on softs don't know why he's doing that as Suchel is replacing his front wing Nico is also not pitting Rice leading this safety car but when is the safety gonna go in maybe even next lap as Sutsu will probably be able to catch it then as we have Mark trying to catch the safety car so we probably have school leading still but P3 to P6, even 7 are on a really good position right now. They don't have to stop and they are going to last. As we have Melon pitting again, again to the softs. As Nico now is in front of him with mediums, but. Melvin will probably get past him quite easily. If the safety car does go in this lap, it will be hard for those soft runners. But not impossible of course, as it goes indeed in this lap. And Rice and Ringsworth still needing to pit. As Ringsworth actually is still on, on the started softs. It will go really bad for him. He could have been at least P10 or even 9 if he did pit. As Rafael dies, still going and he's going now. Did it cause problems in the back? I believe there's going to be a fight here between Ninja and THG. Because Ninja is using a lot of his battery, so is THC going around the outside and they're colliding a lot here as Ninja now gets around they both colliding this, that should be a NFA as Calvary is gonna send it down the inside of THC 
the THC gets a much better exit and will be in front as Lucas actually overtook Skull and Ringsrud as Lucas will get past maybe even here is he gonna send it down at this chicane he is and he will no problems cast there oh in the back THC spun he got he got spun around don't know by who, who or what as there's a lot of fighting here Mark is just ahead of it as Kelly gets past and the ring should actually having to pit now after all that mess Rafa gets overtaken by Ninja as well Ninja might even get his first podium this season as Skull gets a 3 second time penalty can Ninja maybe even win his, his first ra race ever because people in front of him both have penalties if he manages to don't take, take any penalties he will be good to win this race Rafael is losing a lot of pace and will pit soon. Mark is getting held up behind. Mark looks up a little bit, but he is close behind. Within four tenths, turns on the overtake and gets cleanly passed even without a DRS. Raphael couldn't do anything about it as Melvin even gets behind. Is Melvin gonna send it on Mark? No he won't. But it did crash right in that move under breaking. For Melvin maybe even. As Mark gets the 3 second time penalty. That's his first. As Raphael is still on those old mediums. And now Suchel is close behind. As Melvin got a 3 second time penalty as well. And now Suchel gets past because of a much better exit than Raphael. Gets cleanly passed through it before the GK. As Calvary now is also getting past. Won't be any problem there. We have Lucas setting the fastest lap outside of the second gap. He might even pull away now because he has a lot of pace. But if he doesn't get another penalty, he will. in a good place now because he will only lose actually nothing because he's three seconds ahead of ninja as we have Sucho with second six seconds of penalties as Ringsworth actually set the fastest lap now and Rafael finally pits Nico Hilton in P9 Suture gets another 3 second time penalty. Don't know how he does it, but. His S Ringsworth also gets another 3 second time penalty. A lot of drivers can't stay away from those penalties. Melvin is also on pace of trying to catch Ninja. He probably actually will in a couple laps. He has more pace. They both have no battery. The top 4 has no battery. As Mark still has 25%. Sutro also has 20%. Staying behind him. 
Kelly with 40% behind them. As he will gain both positions because of penalties, but also he has better tires. As he hits Sutro in the rear and causing Sutro wide, but Sutro stays ahead. When Cowardly's tires get better, he will get past, or let's say when the softs are getting worse. As Sutro did get pushed a bit there and off track, maybe because of that. But Cowardly is past. STHC battles with Sutro through the chicane. So we now have Melvin even catching more, both using all of the battery again. Mark is recharging his battery. Scaldi is behind pushing going around the outside as it's fully ahead into turn one just a little moment on the exit but it's cleanly passed and he might catch melvin still if melvin was, will lose a lot of his grip as mark also gets overtaken by THG he's struggling with his tires As Melvin is, is he gonna get inside the second gap here again? He's using all of his battery again, but he won't get inside of the second gap. And that means his tires are losing and losing time now. But here again, he gains a lot of time through that last exit. But the mediums are now faster than his tires. As THC now also overtakes Calvary. Calvary has a lot of ERS left to make a move. So we now have school actually with a within five tenths now of Lucas. So we have Sutro going, going with 12 seconds of penalties. They both have the same amount of ERS. He's using his overtake already to catch a bit after the bad exit. It's gonna be 7 tenths. Maybe more or less to this last corners. The Sutro does better as Skull did get a better exit with a 10th and now actually 2 tenths now gains a lot of time with the DRS turns it off to stay behind with Ninja not closing the gap but Melvin also ain't catching Sutra got past Mark actually now Calvary used all of his battery that last lap, but didn't make the move on THC. That's not the timing when you need to use your battery. Use your battery when you can overtake someone. This is all battery waste, what he's doing here. Just to catch. And then losing a lot of time again through a corner we have Skull now within 8 tenths using his overtake and the DRS and will be gaining a lot of time again
as he stays behind, goes in the dirt. We didn't see an overtake from them as Ringsroot actually sends it up in the inside. And then Rafael takes it back on the next inside corner. As they, as they now won't have DRS. Oh wait, they will have both DRS. But they didn't catch back as Ringsroot was just not staying behind on the ideal line losing six to seven tenths as we have melvin off the track even three seconds for corn cut the thg almost pushes him off he actually did push him off and as he gets another three second time penalty for multiple warnings Calvary now will be able to catch them. Is Melvin gonna send it up in the inside? Pushes TSC wide. He's gone straight on. As he's now comes in front of him and Melvin goes into the wall as Suchel goes in the back of Melvin and now he crashes again he's not having this race he has no luck in this race As we only have THC. Oh, he, he's gone straight on, almost inside of Cavalry. Cavalry stays ahead. THC goes straight on again. Corner cuts his complete corner. Gets another 3 second time penalty. Melvin can stay within the 3 second gap of Sucho. He will be able to get more points but don't think he can because Melvin has front wing damage and is pitting even. As Ninja gets now the, the 3 second time penalty. As this is... He was within the 3 seconds of Skull. As he now will be third place still, but he could have been P2. As Nico is getting overtaken by Rafael. As a really bad corner through this section, holds up Rings Rut. Nico isn't having his race, he gets overtaken again. As we now have THC close close by Calvary. Calvary with more ERS, more battery. Can he keep even a position on the straight or will THC overtake him? THC using all of his battery, Calvary using all of his battery. THC will catch and catch and catch. It goes in the inside, won't be able to make it as Cavalry just stays on the ideal line and is able to make it now. So we have the only fight still possible is THC and Cavalry, but Cavalry is actually the only driver without a penalty but he won't be gaining any places with that as he did actually get a penalty in the last lap and THC gonna send it up in the inside of the chicane is he leaving off space 
Yes, maybe Cody pushed him a bit to the outside, but in the end Cody still stays ahead. Astici will try and go around the outside in this last corners, but he won't be able to stick it there because you're locked up. We have Mark, the highest uh, finished F4 driver, F5 driver actually, in P6. As Suchu goes into the pits in the last lap. He still finishes in front of Raphael, but don't know really why he did this. As we have Nico Hilton and down in P11, struggling. This could have been points. But he just struggles and struggles too much on this track. But P11. As we have, I believe, Lucas won. Maybe this was even his first win ever this season. And Skull in P2, from P1 to P2. Did do a great race, but just couldn't manage Lucas's pace. As Ninja going up to P3. Did a really good race until he got the penalty, just like Calvary. They did a they they did a really great race, but the penalty at the end wasn't necessary. With a wet quality, there is. A lot of things that can still change in the race but we'll see you next week in in Saudi Arabia actually that's gonna be carnage especially in F4 with those drivers that are just going for every gap that exists <laughs>